Um, hello, this is a review, like first impressions of Barry M instant effects nail painty stuff. Um, so I've painted my nails various colours and I'm going to be applying it um, and I guess showing what happens. Uh, yes, <laughs> I should have probably planned this through first, but oh well. Got this yesterday for three ninety nine out of Superdrug. Okay, let's paint it on. So it goes on black. But there's been um, a lot of obsession over crackle polish at the moment. Okay, well that's first nail done. Um. I don't know if I made a brilliant job of that. It's starting to go. I'm gonna quickly do the others. I think I made that coat a little bit too thin. I've got five different colours here. So um it goes dry and sort of matte fairly quickly. Um yeah, it's quite funky to look at where it's crackling. I'm just do a thicker coat on that nail. As far as I can tell you need quite a thick coat because I seem to have done those two too thin. So that's another two done and now for the last one. And we can watch these crack. So that should be in shot. I'm not getting to watch these crack which is kind of disappointing. Um. But yeah, the satin's good. That one's gone. And that looks quite funky, actually. Let's move the camera around. <laughs> Focus! You can see the cracks appearing. You can see my desk is a mess. But they look quite funky. That one, especially if and when it focuses will look pretty cool um, <clears throat> it's not the best product but it's got potential I'm not keen on what happened with this nail here but the others all look fine I don't think it actually creates the shape it shows on the um, thing because that shows more of a vertical. I think it creates more of a sort of random speckled type thing. Um, I'm not actually sure if that's worth the four quid. I don't know, maybe like two fifty three quid, but I don't think it's actually worth four quids because I can see it's going to need a top coat for sure because of how uneven it is on the nail. And at the moment I'm out of top coat because I ran out. Because, um, you know, you put base coat on, which is top coat, and then you put nail colour on, and then you put... Yeah. That will probably chip off in a few days um, if I don't get a top coat on it. And it seems to have melted my purple, so it's gone quite thin. Um, there's the original colours. Same for each finger, so... Yeah, that doesn't work. Right, um, that works. <laughs> They'd have had that colour underneath and, yeah. I'm not keen on that. I don't think I'd buy that again. Um, I'm not really sure what all the fuss is about. So, yeah, that's not great, is it? <laughs> Guess I'm going to paint this hand and try and match them up. This is some more on the crackly nail paint stuff. I've now done both nails and I've left them about half an hour. Um, when I was doing second hand some of my nail varnish underneath melted. You know where how sometimes you put a second coat on and it melts the coat underneath and drags it away. Did it on that nail but you can't really see it. I'll include some photos. Um, the stuff scrapes off pretty easily without second uh, top coat so you do really need a top coat with this it's not like with 
coloured so sometimes you can get away without top coat. It does create a pretty cool effect, but I don't think I'd buy it again. I don't think I'd use it for normal nail painting stuff. So, um, yeah. That's it. Bye.